It is the busiest time of the year on the roads, and experts say it can also be the deadliest. As Lena Tillet reports, a teenager who survived a bad crash wants to send a message, hoping it will save others. And it was going towards his truck. So he Happy to have new independence with a driver's license. Nicholas Aitken and a friend drove home from work. Roads were slick that day in Falls City, and Nicholas lost control of his father's SUV. I just started to go sideways towards that sign, and I'm thinking, you know, this isn't happening. I'm just dreaming. And, but then I hit the sign, and then it's, oh, well, yeah, maybe it is happening. He hit a ditch, and the SUV rolled over twice. Wearing seatbelts, the teens held on tight, landing upside down, but emerging from the truck unscathed. It takes something like what happened to me to encourage other people to wear them. Nicholas says the few scratches on his hand are evidence of what seatbelts can do in a bad accident, save lives. I'm living proof that they work, you know. And it's an appeal State Patrol Trooper James Estwick tries to demonstrate to drivers daily in a disturbing reenactment of a rollover crash. This vehicle is on a but he says a reminder is crucial this time of year. More people going on the roads than there were this time last year. Um, obviously, the holidays are coming up, so there are going to be even more people on the road because gas prices have dropped. So far this year, there have been 217 fatalities compared to 198 last year. And of those 217, 129 people were not wearing seatbelts. Many more have serious or lifelong injuries. Nicholas says it could have been him, and now he wants to help save other lives. It's just kind of nice to still be here, you know. In Southwest Omaha, Lena Tillette, WOWT 6 News. Motor vehicle crashes are the leading cause of death among those under 54 here in the U.S. No better reason to buckle up than this. Experts say wearing a seatbelt reduces risk of serious injury or death by 50%.